Since I don't have a center stand for this bike yet, I'm, I just do a little cheesy trick here. This just helps even things up a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stable front, stabilize the front wheel on this. Um, got an old box of tiles left over. in the basement. You're going to straighten the wheel out carefully and you're going to want to hold that front wheel stable. There's something nice and heavy. You don't want this thing moving around when you're pulling the tank because that wheel turns when you're pulling the tank you're going to screw up your tank. And for me two boxes of spare tiles do the trick. It's not going to go anywhere real easily. And just so I'm not bumping into extra stuff I'm also going to take the hard bags off of this. Um, I left the bike in gear. I don't want this thing rolling or coasting or anything while I'm working on it. But I also chalk the back wheel when I'm Doesn't need to be much. Just enough to keep that thing from rolling around while you're working on it. Uh, something else I like to have ready ahead of time here is a place to put that tank. Now my tank is full of gas, so it's gonna make it harder to deal with, but it's not too big of a deal, it's not too heavy. It's just a little awkward because it sloshes around. So what I've got here is uh, just a pile of old shop towels and a couple old uh, one by eights or whatever they are. And uh, you don't need a ton of space in there. You know, you just want enough to put the front of the tank on, on the boards and the back of the tank on the towels just to keep from getting that thing beat up. Something else you need to keep in mind when you're doing this job is you will spill a little of the gas. So keep your open flames down, no, no smoking. You know, you want to do this in this area where it's safe to have some fumes. It will, the tank will drip a little bit when you do this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to pull my side panels off here. So next we're going to remove the seat. Got the side panels off and remove the seat. You want to have the, the pillion pad down position. You don't want it up because that's going to get in the way of pulling the seat off. So drop your pillion if it's up. And uh, my bike has a T30 Torx for these. Um, I think some of the older ones might have Allen keys. So there's just wrench uh, bolts on either side here. Once that comes free, there's a metal bushing that goes around the uh, bolt and a rubber pad in there holding that seat. This is a aftermarket seat, it's not the stock. Seat just lifts up. You can see this one, this particular one's a Bill Mayer seat, but there's a uh, rubber bushing in there. The stock seats have a rubber bushing as well. This is just a fairly different setup. Next thing we're going to do is remove the panels, uh, these body panels here. And we're, we're going to use the T25 Torx on these guys. You're going to want a safe place to put these. You don't want to get them scratched up. I've got a workbench out of sight here where I can put these. You want to do that on both sides. So while we have this bike at this stage, um, it's not often that you get the bike taken apart to this point. Uh, and we can kind of see there's some dirt on the back side of the tank. So while I'm in here, I like to clean everything up a little bit. It's a real mild solution of a tiny, tiny bit of simple green. 
with mostly water just to get that help break the grease up a little bit that's in there. So next I'm going to get the uh, tool kit out of the way. You don't have to get it out of the way, it's just you know, an, an extra item, kind of like the bags. I just don't like having a lot of stuff on the bike that I'm going to bump into or trip over. So I'm going to get those out of the way. Um, so next we're going to move the tank. There's two bolts, two uh, Torx bolts. Uh, these are T30s. Now, wherever you're working on this, it helps a lot to keep track of these washers. There's a lot of little washers that come off with these screws, so I just keep those attached to the bolt. I'm going to pull out the machine bolts. that. So now we're on the right hand side of the bike. Uh, there's one thing we got to do here before uh, we deal with this. There is a plug that goes into the tank here. So what we want to do is go ahead and unplug that. There's just a release. You just pinch that together. Gently lift that out and you can see that runs up into the tank. Then we're going to remove this last tank bolt. This is again, it's a T30. It's a little knurled up. There we go, nice and easy. All right, you can see the tank just settled a little bit right there. Now I wished, again, I had a, I have a, almost a full tank in here. I just filled it up a couple days before the battery decided to go completely south on me. So I did not siphon this out, it makes it a little heavy. We've got a rubberized uh, washer here, and I just wanna make sure I keep track of that. Uh, the other side's stuck, this side is not sticking, so I might go to the other side and pull that off as well. But you want to keep track of all that stuff. It keeps the rattles out of the bike. Okay, now it's time to face the gas drips. Uh, the older bikes don't have the quick releases like this one does, but uh, I've got the quick releases. This is a 2004 model. So I think the CLCs, uh, I can't remember all of them, but um, I don't know a ton about them, but I like to put just a little rag in there. I don't, I don't want gas dripping down all over all my stuff. So. The quick releases are pretty easy. You just pop it, it comes apart just like an air hose, and uh, you know, you're gonna drip a little bit of gasoline out when you do that. And as you can tell, because we've got the nozzle on different ends here, uh, we know this one's the top. It's got the nozzle facing back and the nozzle facing four is the uh, bottom nozzle. So when you put it back on, um, it's pretty easy to tell. This is one of those bushings uh, for the tank I was mentioning before. They're very easy to lose. They look like they are part of the tank, but they're not. They can fall out. Um, in particular, on my bike, the one on the left side is looser, so it tends to fall out. The one on the right side is tight. It, it tends to stay in there. So just keep an eye out for those things. It is a metal uh, washer with a rubber bushing around it. There are two other hoses on the 2004 tank. Uh, there's one down in here. It's gonna be difficult for you to see that, but it's just a slide. And that just, uh, it's got a coupler here. And it's just a rubber hose with a little bit of torque. Uh, that slides right off. The other hose runs from the bottom of the tank uh, down through this loom uh, and it's just like a breather hose. It's not connected to anything on the downside. So you just got to pull that out so it's free when you uh, pull the tank. You don't want that hooking on something and tearing or messing something up. Now we're ready to pull the tank. So just to recap, just to recap real quick before I pull this. Uh, the quick disconnects or the fuel clamps on the other side of the fuel hoses on the other side have been disconnected. Uh, if you don't have the quick release, you should have had some kind of a hose 
clamp or pincher or something to uh, keep those from leaking gas out. And uh, I've disconnected um, breather hose down below, I believe that's what that's called. And also another hose that connects into the, uh, this box in the back. And so you just want to make sure those are disconnected. Your whole tank is free now. Um, you can lift this thing up and you just want to watch for clearance on the handlebars. It rotates on two rubber, I hesitate to call them hinges, but they're uh, two rubber bumpers in the front of that, right about in this location. So the tank will come up in the back and then slide straight back. Uh, if you're doing this with a lot of gas in the tank, be careful it wiggles around, uh, which is the case here. And we're just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna move it over to that space where I've got the pieces of wood and the towel so I can set this down nice and even and it doesn't scratch the tank up sitting on the concrete. So here we go, we're gonna lift it up in the back. It slides up and off of those two front rubber bumpers. Hose, breather hose comes free. So I've got it resting nice and even uh, and none of the paint's touching the concrete, which just, you know, we don't have scratched up paint. Scratch it when you ride it. Uh, I guess it's time to get on that battery.